uh, the club have a, such a big history and uh, they had the great players like uh, Thierry Henry, so it's an example for, for us strikers. So yeah, I'm really happy that that's what I say before. Yes, yeah, of delighted course. to be a gunner, right? You, you, know, you know what, I, I love the, the, you know, the, the news he's bringing in. Right. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll talk about the one no, later. No, but no, no, let's look at the deals. When I mean, I mean the news, I mean he's coming in. Uh, yeah, before we go to the deals, there's uh, Aubameyang wasn't only the guy that moved on uh, oh, yeah. on deadline day. There were other, uh, you know, yeah, decent deals as well. So Isaac Success uh, moving from Watford to Malaga is on loan. Hopefully, he can kickstart his career again. He hasn't played uh, a lot this season for Watford. Uh, he hasn't uh, been a good boy, so to speak. I don't know about that, Cecilia. Obviously, yeah, he needs to take care of a lot of things <laughs> off, the, off the field, definitely. Mitchie Batshuayi, the Batman, has gone from Chelsea on loan to Borussia Dortmund. That's one of the guys uh, that didn't want to leave. They were, but he didn't have a choice, really. He needs to go and play because Antonio Conte definitely, clearly doesn't really fancy him uh, that much. Olivier Giroud uh, from Arsenal to Chelsea. That's a very interesting, interesting transfer. Uh, the guy divides opinion amongst Arsenal fans, and some people really like him, some don't. And uh, it's good readings to them, but he's gone to Chelsea now uh, to try and, you know, try and see if he can help uh, Antonio Conte uh, solve that um, uh, forward issues that they have there. Lucas Mora, Cecilia, another big transfer uh, on deadline day, PSG to top now. This guy was highly rated a couple mm -hmm. of years ago. It's been decent for PSG, but PSG have so much money, so, so much, much money, talent. So much. He's not been able to get in the team now. He has a new list of life playing for Tottenham or poor. Yeah, that's the way it is for Olivier Giroud at 31 and uh, needed a backup strike. I'm thinking Olivier Giroud, yes, maybe it's going to be a, a, a top man because if you have a uh, Morata one? not firing, maybe he will just have to, Morata hmm. will have to be benched. Really? And I don't know because I'm like, <laughs> at Arsenal he was playing second field and you're going to Chelsea another second field to a striker who's not really scoring. I'm like, what's, that, what's the deal? That's why I said it's a Because he's strange. not a young boy anyway, he's 31, not, so not he true. needs no. to play football i mean not at this age i mean you are uh, number uh when you talk about the french national team it's one of the guys that really mm. come to mind and all so if you're playing second fiddle to a club you were living and you come to another club it's going to be another second fiddle i'm asking myself why are you doing this that's why i said interesting transfer okay. earlier very interesting very interesting to see how Antonio conte handled this one wish all those guys yeah. uh all the best things did you see his uh, face when he was sitting on the bench right yeah, we were losing was, to was, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay i'm used to this <laughs> that kind of feeling that okay i'm funny. used to this yeah, it was, yeah, yeah this was Funny look in this face, man. Olivier Giroud to us now, definitely. It wasn't only Olivier Giroud and uh, the Aubameyangs of this world that yeah. were on the move. Uh, in the general transfer window, we're not talking strictly uh, de deadline day now. Um, before deadline day, January, some, Nigerians some Nigerian players that have really move. moved. And uh, Cecilia, I don't know, it's underwhelming to say the least. Uh, the Nigerians that were uh, on the move uh, in the general transfer window, Ahmed Musa, uh, Leicester, CSK, Moscow, loan deal, Brown Day as well, yeah. it's gone from China. I don't know, it's, it's, it's really, it didn't really yeah. work out for him in China, right? So he decides to go to Malaga, he's going to play there on loan for the rest of the season. Hopefully, uh, he can revive his career because definitely he's been uh, in a bit of law. Yeah. Shehu Abdullahi, that's a very interesting mm -hmm. one of those guys, um, a lot of Nigerians feel has a lot of years to play for of Nigeria. Course. It's gone from Cyprus uh, to Bozaspor. Which is better. Which is, a, is an upgrade, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, last but not the least, uh, Isaac Sussex uh, going from uh, Watford to uh, Malaga. Cecilia, you, you seem to uh, be interested in this one. Uh, Isaac Sussex off yeah, the field. Yeah, off the field. I mean, mm. we don't have to discuss his off the field antics. But, <laughs> antics. but I think, I mean, going to Spain, hopefully, he will be able to get that together. When he was in Spain, he was playing so well. Yeah. And that was why Watford had to, you know, exactly. Cough out the money and had to bring him to England. So maybe yeah. the loan deal is going to do him a whole lot of good. Hopefully. And that's what I'm thinking. But Hopefully. if it doesn't, it simply means, well, as it's success. It? Uh, okay, he, he, obviously it's, go, it's going to be to the end of the season, mm. which is a good one, right? Yeah, um, well, I was going to say, is it, is, it, is it too early to say this is his last chance? I mean, no, you, you really can't young. say that. He's still young. He's still yeah. very young. I, I think, you know, sometimes when you're earning so much money and you're in a particular situation where you never dreamt of being, mm. sometimes the money gets into, gets your, into head your head and yeah. you do some stuff that you wouldn't have loved to do. Maybe mm. when he sit down, you know, look at himself in the mirror, reflect on everything and all that, and he should be able to, Hopefully. you know, come up with this. And maybe he can give a call to Carla Ancelotti and just... Tell him to talk to him. Uh, why call him? Everyone just was going at the and another. He called all the players. Look at himself. Is oh this all? God. Is this what he can actually produce yeah. or give and all that? Sometimes you know you just need to you know 
just look at yourself in the mirror and you know see the reflection if what you're saying off is really what you mm. wanted he's a very fantastic player um, i think you can actually get it together at malaga and Mass. coming back to england he should be able to do something also i mean also we hope that you know once he starts scoring again mm. at csk moscow where he calls home then coming back to england because he says he's going to come back to england yeah he should also get a spot kelechi nhl will spare it all for you it remains at leicester with leicester letting most of the some of their players go but i think Michael maybe Chance. he might I just get to play yeah. in the English Premier League. I'm talking about the Premier League now, not the FA Cup. Mm. Yeah, he's been scoring the FA Cup, so he can transfer that to yeah. the league. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a good way to start scoring the FA Cup. The manager uh, can't ignore you for too long, for too and long. Uh, he's going to get his chance in the uh, English Premier League as well. Okay. So that's it for uh, transfer deadline day, as well as all the transfers that went down uh, during uh, the January transfer window. Let's move on quickly in the midst of all that drama and players moving clubs. The way matches played in the English Premier League, uh, match day 25. And um, biggest uh, result of the night, uh, Tottenham defeating uh, Manchester United by uh, two goals to nil, definitely. But the shocking result of the night yeah. was between Chelsea and Bournemouth and a 3 nil. No one saw this coming. This oh. was a shocker. As it was a horror show uh, by Somebody. Chelsea. Uh, Stamford Bridge and uh, Antonio Conte definitely, uh, I'm sure, would have been called in for a meeting uh, as we speak right now. Elsewhere, Everton <laughs> defeated Leicester 2-1. Two, uh, two one. Two uh, one. Phil Walcott and scoring mm -hmm. two goals there. Good one to see. Uh, way to start. Yeah, way to start. Yeah, it's in the ground running, basically. Newcastle 1-1 against Burnley. Southampton 1-1 against Brighton. Tightman, Man City 3-0 against West Brom. And I talked about earlier... Tottenham defeating uh, Man United a, by two goals to nil. Two and those two goals, Jose Mario, uh, is fuming, I fuming. imagine. Still fuming this morning because he says those two goals were just ridiculous. The yep. first goal straight yeah, after kickoff. The third fastest. How do you do that? The third fastest in the English Premier League. So, uh, because, I mean, he got a pass and the guy just went on and he went to score. <laughs> And the, so that's goal, and the second goal, the, also, goal, the defenders were like, uh, I was wondering what was happening there. That should Sometimes have been a, a very easy confusion. clearance mm -hmm. uh, by easy. Phil Jones. Uh, but he just couldn't. Just put it, it was jittery. It like, was okay, jittery, right? <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't composed. He, it wasn't composed it. at all. And this is what I had to say. It's a performance that starts with a ridiculous goal. Right. That goal after a few seconds has a big influence on Absolutely. the game because Tottenham can play the way they like to play. In the end, we played against a very good team. Both goals were ridiculous, ridiculous. goals. I get that. All right, we'll go for a break now. We'll come back. We'll be talking athletics.